Good morning, Tahmina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. In today's video, I'll explain to you the concept of map and scale, which is a part of the syllabus of O-level mathematics, CAIE 44024. And in this video, there is one question which has three parts and it will explain you the concept of map and scale completely. So before we begin, you can see my web address here, website address. You will find it very useful. Do visit it. And the second is my blog address, tkmasses1.blogspot.com, where I have put up all my free videos I have made so far. So let's begin with the question. So this uh, scale is given to you, 1 is to 50,000. No unit is mentioned here. So when it is given like this, it means both are in centimeters, right? So this is your map and this is your land. It is about a length of the runway and it is saying, if the line of length is 4.6 centimeter on the map, then what is the actual length of the runway uh, in kilometer, right? So there are two ways to solve this question. I'll explain you both ways, but at the same time, I will give you some extra information here because the same question can be asked differently. And that is, it can say express in representative fraction. So when you are given something like, for example, it is not related to the question, but I'm just building up concepts. I'm giving you that piece of information. So for example, question says 20, uh, two centimeter is to, for example, um, 50 meter, right? And write in representative fraction. So what you do, you divide both side by two because you have to bring it into this form. This form means both sides centimeter. So if I divide both side by two, it will become one centimeter is to 25 meter. And then 25 meter will be how many centimeter? 2,500 because one meter has 100 centimeter, right? So it will become one centimeter is to 2,500. So representative fraction, which is written as 1 is to n, will be 1 is to 2500. So I'm just giving you this extra piece of information here because the question can be asked differently. Anyway, so coming back to the question. So I have to find the length of the runway in kilometer. So two ways I said there are to solve the question. We know 1 kilometer is 100,000 centimeter. Right, you need to know this relation. So there are few conversion you need to learn by heart. So I will change this 50,000 centimeter into kilometer so that I have a relation of centimeter is to kilometer. So now I have one centimeter is equal to 0 0.5 kilometer. And on the map, the length of the runway is 4.6 centimeter. So I will simply write 4.6 centimeter here and I will say equals to x kilometer, which is unknown factor. And then simply cross multiplication and you will get the value of x. So this will give you that 4.6 centimeter length is actually equals to 2.3 kilometer. So this, will, this is one way of solving it. Let's see the other way of solving it. Now, for example, I do not change this 50,000 centimeter into kilometers, right? Rather, I just cross multiply here. So I will get 230,000 centimeter. Yes or no? Here I changed it into kilometer. Here I did not. And then at the end, when I get answer in centimeter, I change it into kilometer by dividing it 100,000. Uh, the problem with student at time in concept is because they have learned junior classes that you cannot multiply two numbers which have different units, right? True, but this is a map scale. It means you are telling here to one centimeter is equal to 0.5 kilometer. So when you will do cross multiplication, the answer of X you get is in kilometer, right? So do not confuse two things. So there are two ways to solve it, whatever you're comfortable with. Actually, the problem with this um, method is students at time forget to put zeros correctly. So you have to count number of zeros accurately. So let's see the second part of the question. So the second part of the question is saying that airport has um, area 3.5 square kilometer. You have to calculate this area on the map, right? 
and it is saying square centimeter it means this is the meaning of a square centimeter right so now let's see so what is given to us is one is to fifty thousand both are in centimeter and this is about area so we need to change our scale into area first okay so first of all i have changed or used the same one centimeter is equal to 0.5 kilometer i just explained in the first part then i'm squaring both side you know why because i have to change this scale which is given in single unit into square unit into area unit so now this one will become one square is one centimeter square is a square centimeter 0 0.5 square is 0 0.25 and kilometer square will be square kilometer right so now this is my scale and map okay and 3.5 kilometer is my actual area of the airport, which I will write underneath here like this. And I will simply cross multiply. And it will give me area of the airport on the map in a square centimeter. So let's see here, simple cross multiplication. And I got 14 square centimeter. Now, only one more question, one more concept, which is tested in this type of question. And that is, okay, if the same airport is represented on some other map by some other engineer, and he has taken the ratio of map scale is one is to 30,000, then what will be the area of the airport on his map? You know, you are one engineer, I'm another engineer, we are using different scale. So this is the second engineer. So 30,000. So what area will be on his map? Simple. I know the actual area of the airport, which is given to me in the last question, 3.5 square kilometer. So I will simply change the new scale into kilometer. So one centimeter is to 0 0.3 kilometer. I have divided it by 100,000 because centimeter, when we convert into kilometer, we divide it by 100,000 right and after that i'm squaring both sides the reason is i have to deal with area and the unit of area is in a square so just like in last part i'm squaring both sides it will give me one square centimeter equals to 0 0.09 square kilometer right so i got my map in a scale in a square unit and now 3.5 i will write underneath here and cross multiply so this will simply give me the area on the new map, on this map, area of the airport will be 38.8 square centimeter. I hope it makes sense to you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, learn it, please press like and subscribe button. You will get notification of my new videos. And please do share with your friends. They may also learn and get benefit out of it. Thank you very much. Take care. Allah bless you.